So in this video, we're going to cover variable scope, local and global. This is a topic that I find a lot of students struggle with. So wanting to make a video especially dedicated for it. So when we create a variable, we can easily create a variable by saying let and then the variable name, it's called a dog, right? And we can name it or give it a certain value, five, whatever it might be. We're then wanting to get that value, we can say console.log dog, right? And now inside of console, we get the value five over here um, from console.log dog. So where scope comes in is that when you create a variable, it's created to a particular scope. And a scope essentially means like, where can this variable be, be accessed? So if I create like with our usual, right? With um, function setup and draw, um, if I create a variable inside of setup, like this, let a is equal to five, six, and then inside of draw, I try and access a, I cannot, I can't actually access a. Um, you'll see I'll get an error over here, reference error a is not defined. Let me, um, I might be blocking it over here with, with my big beautiful face but you can see the part of it, right? But it's saying A is not defined. That's because the variable A was declared to the scope of setup. However, if I said console.log dog, the console here, this is gonna work fine, right? And we're getting five continuously because draw runs in an infinite loop, but dog is created in the global scope, whereas A is created in a local scope, right? So this is global and this is local. Now, this is really important, right? Like if I am wanting to um, kind of manipulate a variable, right? So a common thing we do in P5 oftentime is, for example, if we wanted to get something to move across the screen, right? So if I created, let's, let's set up things normally here. So if I go create canvas and I say 500 by 500, and now inside of draw, I have a circle, right? And let's say I put it at position 10, um, 200, and it has a diameter of 30. We should get a circle coming up onto the screen now, okay? So if we want to get this ball to move across the screen continuously, we need to change its X position or its Y position, right? So how we could do that, right, is we can maybe make a variable, let x is equal to something. We can define the circle's x position, or in terms of x, and then we can say x is equal to x plus one. This is what most people will do, right? And I'll see this mistake made over and over again, but wait a second, nothing's moving, right? We know draw is running in an infinite loop. Why isn't this ball moving? And that's simply because the variable x is defined to the local scope of draw. So because this runs in an infinite loop, every time we get back up to this line, line number 10 over here, variable x is reset. So it means it's never going to be anything different than one, right? So if I go our console.log x over here, and you'll, you'll see zero, and you'll see console.log, I say x again over here. What you're gonna see is zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, right? And we're speaking binary now. But the point is every time it loops back around, x is reset, right? So x is zero. And then it says x is equal to x plus one, so x is gonna be one. If we're wanting to get this ball to move across, we need to define x in our global scope. If I define x up here now, it's not going to be redefined every time, and it's going to be accessible by draw. And now we can see it moving across the screen. And you can see over here, that um, with the output of the console, x is continuously increasing. Similarly, if I put it inside of setup, it won't work. I won't have access to x. We should get an error here. See, undefined reference error x is not defined. So this will explain um, global and local scope. So always understand when you create a variable inside of curly braces, like with inside a function, it's defined to the local scope of that function. If you define it outside of it, it's defined to the global scope, which is then accessible to both of these functions.